hayawi hayawi huwa na yaliyotabiriwa yameanza kuonekana mchana peupe nitumie lugha ya Kiswahili do nitakuwa nachanganya Kiingereza ili mashabiki wangu wanielewe vizuri kaka wale mnanifuata katika video zangu vizuri <clears throat> kuna wakati mmoja niliwaeleza jinsi ambavyo Rigad Gashawa alimnyanganya kiture kindiki nafasi ya kuwa naib rais katika serikali iliyokuwa ije ya William Ruto nilichukua wakati wangu kuwaeleza kwa upana <clears throat> na baada ya kusema hayo nikamalizia kusema kwamba ndoa ya Ruto na Rigathi haitadumu kwa nini tabia ya Rigathi ni tabia ya kukera ni tabia ambayo aiambatani na cheo cha mtu ambaye anafaa kuitwa naibu wa rais wale mnakumbuka nilimweleza mama Dorcas ajaribu jinza wezafio kumtoa rigji katika mazingira ya ubunge amlete katika mazingira ya kuwa naib rais I said Mama Dorka should fight to reform Rigadi. Ladies and gentlemen, matamshi yangu hayajaenda mbali. Tangu nizungumze maneno haya, nadhani hata mwaka haujaisha. Nadhani na yameanza kuonekana tayari sio hata kwa umbali yamefika karibu sana very near kwa nini niseme haya kama wewe ni mkenya na unafuatilia taarifa za Kenya mumesikia wabunge wa UDA wameanza kumuunga mkono ndindi nyoro kumridhi William Ruto. Inamaanisha nini? Nataka uelewe hili swala vizuri. Ndindi nyoro kumridhi Ruto kuna matukio ama kuna mtiririko wa matukio kuna mkondo wa matukio unafaa kufuatwa kabla ya ndindi nyoro kumridhi William Ruto. na wabunge hawawezi kuwa wazimu wabunge walio chini ya mrengo hawawezi kuwa wazimu kwa amka siku moja moja wawili watatu wanne kumi waanze kumuunga mkono ndindi nyoro in public wazi wakitangaza kwamba sasa tunamtaka ndindi nyoro amridhi rais rigiji akiwa kama active deputy president it is a, it's a very bad humiliation to me it's a very bad humiliation we know when one is a second in command even in schools when one is a deputy he hopes to succeed the head teacher upon retirement or transfer Now when Rigiji is the DP members of parliament are supposed to endorse him because he's the second in command but when you see the party the coalition that has put Rigiji in office 
its members of parliament are endorsing another person away from the second in command, this explains everything that the wedding between William Ruto and Rigiji is headed to divorce. Whether you like it or not. Ata Rigiji ameanza kuingiza njeve. Nimemusikia lea kiongea kisema kwamba ati muna wawa raisi akiwa hai. Wa Kenya, haya ni maneno mimi niliyaona miezi mingi iliopita. Na nikawambia kwamba itafika wakati Rigiji hata mariza hii ndoa na ruto. Mumeona vile ndindi nyoro ameanza kujipanga. So, there is going to be a tough war. In Twendo, because as things go, vile mamba ya naonekana, huenda, huenda. Ndindi nyoro akawa running metu waruto 2027. Huenda, staki kusema kwamba ninajua. I do not want to substantiate or I do not want to categorically say but in my own opinion I see it coming that there is a possibility that Ndindi Nyoro is going to be William Ruto's running mate in 2027. Kwa nini? Kijana meanza kupendo na hata mimi napenda Ndindi Nyoro. Hata kama tuwelewani kisiasa lakini Ma, uh, vitu anavyofanya kama kiongozi mimi nimeanza kuvipenda so ladies and gentlemen rigiji might not go beyond 2020 uh, 2027 he might not i see a very high possibility na hivi ilianza kitambo wakati ruta alichukua majukumu ya rigiji akamtuika msalia mdabadi Na sasa wabunge wa UDA ambao wanafaa kumheshimu Rigiji wamemkosea heshima kwa kuunga mkono kwamba ndindi nyoro amridhi William Ruto. He what are you? Rigiji mimi nilikuonya mapema ngakwambia hawa watu watakupatia aibu mbaya. Mimi nilikuonya mapema nikakwambia Rigiji Sikiza nisikize mimi hata kama mimi ni mdogo na kuambia ukweli. Hii ndoa yenu na Ruto haitaenda mbali. Haitaenda mbali. Na imefanyika. Najua Rigiji amekuwa kitusi Raila. Najua utaanza kumulilia huyu Raila ambao ulikuwa na mtusi, utaanza kumulilia tena hivi karibuni. Huyu Raila ambaye huko unataka kuona. Huyu Raila ulisema kwamba ukimsalimia siju utakufa. Huyu Raila ulikuwa ukimuita mzee wa Kitendawiri na Muganga. I'm telling you Rigiji. Huyu Raila kama yuko hai, akiwalai utamtafuta. Tuko hapa kukumbushana. Na vile ulivyo munyanganya kidure kindiki nafasi yake. Na wewe utanyanganywa. Malipo hayaendi beyond this world. Malipo tukiwa hai, Mungu analipisha hapa hapa duniani. Ulivyo munyanganya kidure kindiki. Na wewe utanyanganywa vivyo hivyo upanga uliotumia kwa kendiki ndio upanga utatumiwa kwako na unajua kama wabunge wameanza hivi mapema na hata miaka miwili haijaisha mkiwa serikalini Oh my na muko na miaka minne mbele. Hai. Rigiji uko na kibarua. One hata pumzi zitakuishia. Hicho kitambi umebeba kitakamilika. Kitaisha. Mimi nakupea macho kitaisha. Kitaisha. Hii mdomo ambayo umekuwa nayo mrefu ukituzi Raila Ukisema sijui nini, ukisema sijui mtu akitaka kuenda kwa rais lazima apitie kwako. Hatio mtamaliza uhuru Kenya ta. Hatio mtafanya nini? <laughs> Relax. Ndindi nyoro ni dawa yako. 
Na mimi siku mbona nikufiche kwa sababu mambo haya mimi nilikwambia ukweli. Rigiji utaenda nyumbani mapema sana asubuhi. Mapema. Mapema sana. So if I were you, mimi ningeenda usiku na mapema kabla hakuja pambazuka. Niende kwa mzee. Nimwambie unajua mzee mambo ya siasa yako hivyo. Mimi ninaomba msama. Sasa wewe wabunge wa Kenya kwanza. Waanze kukugonga. Wabunge wa Azimio waanze kukugonga. Utakimbia wapi? The next thing you will commit political suicide. You go and rest at home. Anyway, mbona najisumbua kaka? God bless you as a gentleman in the next video. Asanteni sana. Uh, kuna watu wamekuwa kiniulizia kaka nitapata wapi shamba mzuri shamba ambayo ninaweza nikafanya farming ya miwa niende nijenge nyumba vizuri nifanye farming ya mahindi kuna mali safi hapa check hiyo shamba 10 acres shamba kubwa shamba unaweza lima vizuri iko na barabara check hiyo barabara hiyo shamba iko mara mbili kuna moja chini ya barabara ingine juu ya barabara hiyo shamba hiyo ni miwa imepandwa hapo miwa peke yake hiyo shamba iko karibu na Mumia Sugar Factory. So kuna wale watu ambao wanapenda kufanya biashara za miwa. Ah, hapa ndio mahali pazuri unaweza ukapanda miwa ili utengeneze pesa msimu huu wa serikali ambayo imetupatia uh, jua kali katika kutafuta pesa. Hii shamba iko mahali panaitwa Koyonzo Buhutu sub location na iko karibu na Ejinja Market ndani ya Kakamega County. Na hii shamba iko na barabara ambayo bado imeko mora barabara ambayo haina matobe. So ukitaka kusafirisha miwa, ukitaka kusafirisha mahindi, ukitaka kusafirisha chochote ambacho unaweza ukapanda mahali hapa itakuwa sawa kabisa. Na iko 7 kilometers kutoka Mumia Sugar Factory. Kwa hivyo si mbali sana. Unaweza ukatembea kama umepanda miwa ni karibu pia na factory. Kwa hivyo hauhitaji tena kutafuta gari ya kukupelekea miwa yako mbali sana, mali safi taito iko ready na kila kitu kipo tayari na hii shamba iko unique kwa sababu hapo ndani kuna mto yani river maji iko 24 hours maji iko 24/7 kwa hivyo haufai kwenda kutafuta maji bali popote tu kama umefuga ngombe ukichukua hii shamba kwa mfano na unataka kufuga ngombe unataka kufuga mifugo basi Awende kutafuta maji kwingine maji iko hapo ndani 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 ukiangalia kwenda pale juu hmm? angalia vile miti imepandwa vizuri check hiyo shamba mali safi nasema mali safi chito eye ye na hii ni mali safi yenyewe haya hii shamba iko na title deed iko ready na kazi yako ukinunua ni kutransfer ni 1 million per acre kwa hivyo kama unataka kunua yote ni 10 million Kenyan shillings na pia unaweza kufanya negotiation ili at least ufanyiwe discount kidogo ili teremuke chini. Na hii shamba tunavyozungumza sasa hivi iko katika market na watu wengi wanahitaji. Kwa hivyo kama we ni mkulima hapa ndipo mahali unafaa kukimbia ujinyakulie hii shamba. Kwa nini shamba uh, kwa nini hili shamba linauzwa? Ni kwa sababu mwenye hili shamba yuko mbali na wale watu ambao wameajiriwa hapo wameshindwa kuifanyia maintenance. Yaani hiyo miwa imepandwa hapo imagine wameshindwa wame kuifanyia maintenance. Kwa hivyo leo ukinua hii shamba unaenda na hii miwa. Kama wewe ni mtu ambaye unapenda kufanya maintenance, bas utafanya maintenance kwa hii shamba na uchukue miwa. So sababu kubwa watu wanaweza nikaduliza kaka hey, kwa nini mnauza hiyo shamba? Kwa nini mwenyewe wanaushia hiyo shamba? Ni kwa sababu watu wameajiri hapo angalia miwa. Ukiangalia pale chini, hapo ni chini ya barabara. Kuna mto pale, kuna mto pale chini mwisho. Uh, pia kuna stima. Umeona laini ya stima hapo. Hii shamba iko na stima iko tayari. Kwa hivyo iko na kila kitu. Unajua ukinua shamba unaangalia maji, unaangalia stima na hasa unaangalia barabara, pia na security. Ukiangalia mahali hapa kuna security, kuna barabara, kuna stima na kuna maji 24 hours. Piga simu 07 22 40 49 69. 07 22 40 49 69. Okay, Ukipiga hiyo simu pass utapatana na mtu ambaye atakuelekeza ili kupata mali safi kutoka eneo la Koyonzo Buhutu sub location karibu na e Ginger Market ndani ya Kakamega County shamba nzuri ya kuishi shamba nzuri ya kufanya farming shamba nzuri ya kufuga mifugo iko karibu na barabara iko karibu na market 
iko karibu na Mumias Sugar Factory 7 kilometers away imepandwa miti imepandwa miwa kwa hivyo ni tani milioni ni peke yake na hiyo shamba iko 10 acres ukubwa wake ni 10 acres na barabara imepita katikati kwa hivyo shamba hili linakungoja kwa bei nafuu